the long journey to Abu Dhabi is finally a complete MMA junkie here on the ground. One of the most anticipated stack cards of the year. We've got two epic title fights going down this Saturday as well as a featured bout between Peter Yan and Sean O'Malley. I gotta say a lot of interesting fights but if I could pick one that's probably not getting shine at all I would say Moradov and Chao Borello. I think there's gonna be a bonus there. I think it's gonna be a wild fight but regardless this card is stacked top to bottom. Going down there Saturday night at Eddie Hot Arena right behind me. Gonna be absolutely incredible and we are gonna have all sorts of amazing coverage. Let's see who we can catch up with. John Gooden, a uh, absolutely massive event this week, UFC 280. Just give us the excitement level to be here on the ground in Abu Dhabi. I've been blown away, honestly. There's been so much going on. Normally I, I get into fight week later, got in earlier, more stuff for longer, big names everywhere. You've got Charles Oliveri, where we're sitting right now, where we're stood right now. Like his team won't fit in this spot. <laughs> Same goes for Islam, then even Aljamain Sterling's rolling deep as well. Everyone's in town. I even met Hasbulla this morning. How about that? How are you? Hasbulla, one photo, please. Big fight feel. It's going to be massive. Do you agree with Dana? What do you mean? Oh, he's a lot of fans. He's 5'5". Five, five. There's no way. It says he's 5'7 on the on the, the stats, but there's no way he's 5'5 five, five, or 5'7. Um, I just believe I'm a lot lot better everywhere. Uh, he says that you're not 5'7, that you're 5'5. Five, five. Can you confirm that you are 5'7? Тут рост. Вы посмотрите на его вид. Это как девушка с дороги. Я не знаю. It's not about the height. Just look at him. He's like a whore on the side of the road. Yeah, actually, I got a couple questions. Um, so, you guys are all familiar with the Embedded episodes. For some reason, I haven't seen TJ in any of the Embedded episodes. That's how he got caught last time. I wonder if there's something going on again that it might be a little fishy, TJ. <laughs> Speak up like a man. You're going to get your ass whipped like... Oh, you're going to get your ass whipped by a cheater, motherfucker. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Speak up like a man. Yeah. He's so Say worried it about it. He's so worried about it. He can come test me himself. He can test these nuts in his mouth. Ele tentou dizer que falou com o Dana. Queria fazer essa luta no Brasil. Dizer. Por que não aconteceu essa luta no Brasil? Vocês são muito bullshit. Vocês falam demais. Vocês correram para caraco. 
Eu luto contra você em qualquer lugar do país. Para de falar guys merda. always want to money, fight doesn't speak English. Hey, Nobody hey. understand you. Why didn't this fight happen? Like this fight never had, it was not meant to happen in Brazil. You guys are just bullshitting all the time. I talk, I, why Let's go. I fight put in the Brazil? Instagram pictures first day when you ask the Brazil, I put the pictures in Instagram. Let's go, I want to do this in Brazil. Ele disse que, ele disse que tentou I fazer no Instagram way. essa luta no Brasil. Essa luta. Olha só, não importa onde vai ser mais. Eu tô aqui. Fica tranquilo. Don't worry, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm here. Stay calm. Back at the hotel now, the UFC 280 pre-fight press conference just wrapped and it delivered in a big way. A couple of interesting one-liners from TJ Dillashaw and Piotr Jan stole the show, but some great back and forths overall. The stage is now set for weigh-ins and then of course, going into fight. Uh, Farah weigh-ins just wrapped, pretty seamless session, uh, Caitlin Chukagian the only fighter to miss weight, but the title fights are official, the biggest fights that we want to see are official. I mean, super excited, it's good to see that mo most of the fights are intact, except Zubaira Tukhovov yep. and Lucas Almeida, that's off due to weight management issues yep. from Zubaira's side, but other than that, uh, I mean, we still got a very stacked fight card, I can't complain.